Do you want to register a domain through Gandhi.net? Then stick around to find out how. I'm Thomas with Braintrust Digital. I'm a full stack developer obsessed with learning. If you're interested in learning full stack web development, please consider subscribing below. I have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers and I'm gonna need a lot of help. So if you consider sharing this with a friend who you think may also be interested in this type of content, I'd really appreciate it. In this serverless YouTube planner video series tutorial, we're gonna walk through how to purchase a domain through Gandhi.net. The first question you might have is why? Well, first and foremost, I wanted to show a variety of registrars. Everybody has their preferences, so I thought it might be nice to show different registrars and how you'd make that purchase to make it easier for those folks who choose those registrars. Second, there might be concerns with top-level domain extensions. Different registrars each offer a different subset of all of the available top-level domain extensions. For example, if you needed to purchase an Indian domain, top-level domain extension .in, you could purchase that through Amazon. But if you also needed the .co.in, you can't purchase that through Route 53. You'd have to go somewhere else, like Gandhi. That's where I thought this may be beneficial. Another concern is price. Certain domain registrars will charge you more for the exact same domain, just because. Finally, purchasing this domain through Gandhi will allow me to show how to transfer it to AWS in a future video tutorial. We've done this with GoDaddy, and I thought it might be helpful to also show a different registrar just to give you a little bit more variety again. If you've already got a domain in Amazon and wanna follow along with this project, you can just go ahead and skip this video because that's all we're gonna be doing is purchasing the domain and then in the following video, we're gonna be transferring it. Conversely, if you already have a domain in a different registrar and want to continue to follow along with this project, you have two options. One, you can transfer that domain to Amazon. I have a video of how to transfer a domain from GoDaddy to Route 53 that I'll link in the card as well as the description below. The second option is to create a hosted zone. So you'll keep your domain in your current registrar, you'll create a, a hosted zone in Route 53, and the domain will always stay in and renew in your current registrar, but you'll be able to attach it by way of the hosted zone in Route 53. I have a video covering that as well that I'll link here in the card and down here in the description. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial to learn how to purchase our domain through Gandhi.net. The first thing you're gonna do is navigate to Gandhi.net. We're gonna go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account with Gandhi, you're gonna have to create one if you wanna follow this specific tutorial. Next, we're gonna click on domains and then click register in the upper right corner. Here we have the opportunity to input the domain that we'd like to purchase. In our case, that's going to be yt-planner.com. Then we're gonna click search. This domain is going to serve for a future project where we build a YouTube planning tool so you can plan and organize your videos. But more about that in the future. In this case, we're gonna click add to shopping cart. Next, we'll go ahead and click the checkout button. Once our ownership and billing information is set, we'll go ahead and click checkout again to proceed to the shopping cart. Here you can see our domain in the cart. You're gonna to wanna to double check the spelling of your domain just to make sure you're buying exactly what you expect. The next thing I'm gonna do is turn on automatic renewal for my domain so I don't forget to renew it at the end of the year. In my case, I'm just gonna leave it for one year since I have that automatic renewal turned off, at which point if I decide I no longer want this domain, then I can just turn off automatic renewal, but I'm not in some large commitment in terms of money or years. I'm not interested in their hosting, so I'm gonna skip that section and scroll down to the contracts to accept. Here, we're just going to check the box to accept the general terms and conditions and then click checkout. I'm not a lawyer, so you're gonna wanna read those. I'm not advising you one way or the other. I've purchased domains through Gandhi and haven't had any issues in my personal experience. You can go ahead and make that decision for yourself. In my case, I'm going to use the stored Braintrust Digital Business Visa and click pay now. As you can see, we're taking to the confirmation screen where Gandhi informs us that our order has been placed. So now we just have to wait around for the confirmation email to make sure everything comes through as we expect. As always, please leave questions or requests in the comment section below. I've gotten quite a few good requests lately that I've been trying to either release or, uh, or still in the process of creating videos to help out or to fulfill those requests. So I always appreciate those. Please don't forget to gently press the like button 
and subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.